Doesn't that feel good? Oh, it feels so good. Oh goodness, keep going, keep going. Briere. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm puppy. They're probably thinking I'm weird. I am weird. Yes. I'm going to give you food. I'm you, you, you. He is my baby. He is my baby. He is my baby. Hello friends and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm going to do an update because last Wednesday I was telling you guys that I wasn't going to upload a video because I was putting together a last minute kidding stall. So in this video I want to share with you a little bit of what's been happening because it's not one goat, it's not two goats, it's three goats that were just showing different signs and different things that kind of uh, were a red flag to me. It all started with Clara. She was acting like she was starving all the time. She was kind of pushy. I did not know what was going on with her. And Clara is very like straightforward. She's not afraid to tell you what she wants, what she needs. What do you want? What is it? What's up there? What's up there? Oh, the, the, the food is up there? Oh, up there. She was showing me up there. What, what do you want? Clara? Oh, that? Is that what you want? That? What do you want? Clara, all she needs is to speak. She's like a human. Okay, only because you asked nicely. So I knew that she needed something, but I just could not understand what was happening to her. So I talked to my vet and she sent me a couple of articles talking about pregnancy, toxemia, and I immediately knew that that wasn't it because Clara was not off feed because she was not lethargic, she wasn't like the the more easy to spot signs uh, were not there. But I knew something was wrong and as I was going through that information I realized that what Clara needed was more carbs and I upped <laughs> the carb intake on Clara and that is how she started to act normal again. Then Briere started acting very sad. She was not eating like I would put the hay and all the girls would be in the feeder. <laughs> she's right here but she is really she's really heavy and she's stepping on my leg. Um, and um, so she was really sad. She, I would put the, the hay in the feeders and you know, immediately they go. They either go all to the same feeder or they kind of spread out between the two hay feeders. But she wasn't doing that. She was just looking at me and she was not, you know, acting sick. She was kind of nervous and running around and spooked and kind of weird. So I was like, okay, well, there's definitely something going on here. So I kept an eye on her throughout the day, same thing. I didn't see her eat hay all day. No, that doesn't mean she didn't. That means that I just didn't see her through the camera or I didn't see her while I was here with her, which is, you know, a couple of hours a day. So the next day I was kind of worried. Again, she was... This time, when I put the hay in the feeder, she was just laying down on the corner and kind of looking at everyone, but not really looking. You know, you, you, you kind of know when a goat is sick. They have like this stare in their eyes. It's like they're there, but not really. And I couldn't see that on uh, Briere. I just noticed that she was very either tired and laying down a lot, or she was just... Uh, 
not having a good day, I thought. So I started to go more in depth into pregnancy toxemia to make sure I went and purchased the ketone, the strips, just to test her to make sure. And after I tested her, she was just fine. Um, the next day, and she started eating, and she she looked interested in feed, and then she went back to eating hay the next day. So. I don't know what was happening to her. I don't know if hormones is maybe uh, taking a toll on her or if, you know, whatever it is, it was kind of scary because I do know that when I put the hay in the feeder, if one is not going to the feeder, there's something wrong with that goat. So I was very scared for Briere. Yes, you, Briere. You or you, you. You're cute too. I have my little black boy over here too. You guys cannot see him. Don't fight him. He's your brother. Goodness. So anyways, that happened. And then um, that last day when she started eating normal with the hay and everything, I <laughs> come to check on Mocha and Mocha is acting very tired, like extremely tired. She's not, you know, she was laying down on this other corner over here inside the barn while it was sunny. That's another sign for me that I know that they're not doing great because she was like, they love to be outside when it's sunny. The second the sun is out, they just want to be outside. They want to be standing on the sun. They want to be laying in the sun. They just want to be outside. So I knew that that wasn't okay, so I kept an eye on her through the camera and she stayed in that spot until midday. Now that day we were working on a bunch of projects here, so I just couldn't, you know, I wasn't really sitting with her, checking on her, and she didn't seem like she was in labor. She wasn't like pressing her head against something, she wasn't grinding their te her teeth, she wasn't you know, showing signs that she was in actual labor, but when I checked her that night, her ligaments were really, really loose. Hi. Hello. Why are we crying? Can you please tell me why are we crying right now? Is there something happening? I don't think so. I don't get it. What, what's going on? I just kept an eye on Mocha. Mocha started to feel a little bit better a couple of days later and I gave her some extra feed as well. Now that's another thing that is really, you know, I'm always wondering, am I do giving them enough or am I not giving them enough it's just one of those things that you never know it's not like you can take their weight and figure out exactly how much they need because you don't know how many babies they're carrying you don't know anything really when they're pregnant unless you do some kind oh my gosh i can feel what is that i know that felt so weird I'm trying to feel for baby so I was pushing on her side and I could feel clearly like a snap or something it was pointing to the side and I was pushing on it and it was pushing back to me you guys are so weird I love you though long story short everyone is okay they're all looking at me so I'm gonna look at them as I talk because that way they kind of leave the camera alone but everyone is okay and uh, they just either had a really bad day or maybe just adjusting the feed helped a little bit with some extra that they needed the ones that were looking a little tired I'm gonna try to share that pregnancy toxemia information I don't know video that I recorded and that way you can get a better idea of how much more glucose is needed to support babies it's kind of crazy um, I think it goes from 23% more to 34 or 36% more depending on how many babies they have on I think one of them is 23 
and two is 36 and it's a study that was done on you so you know it's different from goats but just to give you an idea I mean the glucose need for girls that are pregnant in the last six weeks is kind of crazy and maybe I should have started mid-January I should have started with the grain uh, I do think that that would have helped a little bit more if I started the grain earlier. I do think that, yeah, it was probably some kind of a carbohydrate uh, deficiency and that's why they were so tired and I'm not saying that they had pregnancy toxemia, I don't think that's what it was, but I do think that just having the glucose low, um, even though I don't think that they were sick, it was low enough to make them feel sick. Um, and so, with a little bit of extra grain, it really did help. I also noticed that it happened with the does that don't fight for food. Like, Mocha doesn't fight for food. Like, she's pretty mellow. Uh, Briar doesn't fight for food. And, you know, it was just... You know, maybe they needed more and they weren't getting it at the time that I was giving all of them their grain. So. It's uh, it's on the learning curve. This is the first time that I have six does pregnant at the same time. So different does, different things. You just learn a lot. And it's time to go to bed for everyone. And they're just being loud because they don't know what to do with their lives. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit so you can see some bellies. Not you guys' bellies, because yours is just full of hay. Hi, oh, Briere, you keep thinking that you're like a two pound baby. You're so pretty, though. You're so pretty. Yes, you're pretty. Thanks. If you're hearing some chewing sounds, that's a girl's chewing on the camera. I mean, it's time. It's time. It's, ti <laughs> it's time for me to say goodbye. Oh, you, do you have to really scream in my ear? Boy! And that was Aria. Dropping the camera. Okay, okay, we're gonna come right here. Look. Come on, Clara. Come on. Come on. Get down. Get out of there. Get out. You're gonna throw the camera on the floor. Oh, Clara, no, it's not your scratching post. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Go there. Go and eat. Stop being naughty. She's like, what is not being naughty about? What do you do if you're not naughty? You're a good girl. That's what you do when you're not naughty. Yeah, have a good night, okay? You put up with these girlies. I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's gonna be hard, but you be a good boy, okay? And you snuggle with the girls. Yes, sir. You snuggle with those girls, okay? You, no, don't be mean to my little black boy. Listen, he's your half brother. Be nice to him. you <laughs> You, you, you. We is my baby. He is my baby. It's my baby. The girls are gonna throw my camera, so I'm gonna be so mad if they do. Come here. Grammy will love you, anyways. I know you want to be loved. <laughs> You're scratching on my leg. I mean, am I your scratching post now? Okay, what was it? You're cute. I love you. Briere. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm puppy. You're my hay monster. I think it's hormones are trying to are starting to act up. Oh my gosh, I 
can't believe you're so heavy. Girlfriend, I love when you're on me, but not when you're pregnant. You're so... Can we just not stop fighting by the camera? My hair, thanks for trying to eat my jacket. We all love you, we think you're pretty. And can you all stop eating my camera? Would you stop? Oh yeah, no go. You should look behind the camera. I have three goats trying to eat it from behind. The black boy fighting with... Get down, girls! Get down! No, Athene, no. Clara, you're giving a bad example. <laughs> so thank you for being here today. As you can see, everyone is pretty much back to normal. We just have to really endure the last two weeks before kidding starts. <laughs> Bless me. Girls are such a mess, such a mess. So, okay, you guys have a good night, okay? Enjoy, yeah, enjoy your night with your friends. Yeah, because in a couple weeks you're gonna have children and it's gonna change your life forever. I know, children will do that to you, okay? I know, you enjoy your days of a single woman. You guys know what's coming. So I'm not going to tell you what's coming other than hay in your face. Hi, Annabelle. You guys look so skinny from the front and look so fat from the back. What is happening? Hi, Athene. You have your daddy eyes. Hi, girl. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, okay. Everyone looks happy. Hi, Arya. Hello, sweet girl. Briere, what is happening? What's going on? Briere, Briere, are you okay? You belly. I'm sorry, you guys feeling sad. I don't like when you're feeling sad. Time to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Let's go night night, okay? Let's go night night. Come on. It's time to go inside. It's time to go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. Good night, girls.